The La Mesa community is in shock tonight after a terrible crash down in the Alamo City over the weekend left three people from La Mesa dead and another person in the hospital. KLBK's Grace Moore spoke to folks down there in La Mesa today. Grace, who were those people that died in this horrible accident? Terry and Matt, all those in the car that was hit were from one family, having traveled to San Antonio for a concert over the weekend. They were 84-year-old Andrea Iglesias Uvalle, 69-year-old Daniel Valenzuela Sr., and 37-year-old Daniel Valenzuela Jr. Their friends and family tonight heartbroken as they grieve the incredible people they've lost. I said, be, good, uh, be careful, have a safe trip, and he said, okay, I'll see you next week. Those were our last word. It was the ending to a weekend trip that no one expected. And immediately I, I knew it was something wrong. He said they went on a trip in San Antonio and they got in an accident. Uh, it was uh, him, uh, his son, his daughter, and uh, his mother-in-law. A family from La Mesa going to San Antonio for a concert when early Sunday morning they were hit by a 17-year-old drunk driver. One family member surviving the crash with serious injuries. The other three were killed. The La Mesa community now mourning the incredible people that were Daniel Valenzuela Sr., his son, Sergeant Daniel Valenzuela Jr., and his mother-in-law, Andrea Iglesias Uvalle. Uh, very given. Uh, they, they would give you the utmost of respect and just of high integrity and uh, a very joyful family, in fact, very joyful family. That's how we will always remember them. Daniel Valenzuela Sr. was a deacon at St. Margaret Catholic Church in Our Lady Guadalupe in La Mesa. Friends say it was an honor to work with him and to see his devotion to God. Sergeant Daniel Valenzuela Jr. was a police officer in the Ector County Hospital District Police Department, serving the La Mesa community for almost 13 years. And Andrea described as a truly gracious and kind woman. I feel like I had the honor and the pleasure of calling them my friends because of uh, just the kind of people they are. The community now focusing on supporting each other as they mourn those taken too soon. We come together as a family and pray for one another and to support one another in this time of need. The suspect in this case is in jail tonight and charged with three counts of intoxication manslaughter. Our thoughts and prayers are also with the family as no dates have yet been set for the funerals, but the family has started a GoFundMe page to help with those funeral expenses. The link will be on our website, everythinglubbock.com.